Hi, my name is Reiko Kiyonami. I'm a senior strategic marketing specialist working for Summer Scientific. Today I'm going to give you a brief summary about our SMS poster, which summarizes the performance evaluation results of our new Easy Spray Nano Source. This figure shows the concept of the new Easy Spray column, which can be installed into the new Easy Spray Nano Source very easily. So you can simply just plug it into the new source, then you give the apply the high voltage, then you get the spray immediately. So it's very simple. And uh, this picture shows the configuration of the column. So you can see it consists uh, basically one column and the column heater, and you have the data volume zero free connector. Then you have the integrated the, uh, emitter for spray. So the spray emitter is made of the glass emitter, and the ID is a five micro. And for the connection, we use the nano wiper. So the nano wiper is uh, dead volume free, and uh, you don't need uh, any tool for connecting to your UHPLC nano. So we have two patents pending for it, and they all come together as one integrated part. Because it's a dead volume free design, and also because you have the heating, so the performance of the column is not compromised at all, but it's very easy to install. It ensures everyone can use the Nanoflow LC and with a great performance. So this figure shows the high, high the column efficiency can go by using this new easy spray column. It's the extracted peptide peaks from 100 fentanyl BSA. As you can see from the chromatograms, the new easy spray column offers a very high column efficiency, give you the very sharp symmetrical peaks. So for this example, you can get uh, like uh, even 3.5 seconds with the uh, FWHM. So it's really very sharp. And uh, because it's high column efficiency, that means you can get a maximized protein peptide coverage by using the easy spray column. So as one example, you can see from this figure. So here, this shows the one representative base peak chromatogram from 500 nanogram E. coli digest. So it's a 15 centimeter easy spray column by only use 60 minutes gradient. So it's very short for this complex sample. But you can see because the high uh, efficiency of the column, you get very good uh, peak capacity. And uh, you can identify more than 1,000 unique proteins from this uh, simple, just a single HPLC run. Even you use a different flow rate, like uh, we tested the 150 nanoliter per minute, then up to 500 nanoliter per minute. With a different flow rate, the high column efficiency are consistent consistently kept and you get all the around 1000 protein coverage by using the 60 minutes gradient so even the the even higher like a larger peak capacity can be reached by using the longer column so we can use the, the easy spray column can be used up to 50 centimeter so when you use the long 50 centimeter and with a four hour gradient, uh, you can separation, you can actually identify more than 4,000 unique proteins from a single HPLC separation. So it's uh, really give, provide you very, very good uh, protein coverage. Normally you have to use the 2D for that. So, so plus to that, because the column has the heater integrated on it as one part, 
That means you always can hit your column constantly to make your retention time very reproducible. So, so this shows you like uh, this shows the overlays of base peak chromatogram of 500 nanogram E. coli digest collected on one of the OB-trap system over 45 repeat runs. So you can see, even for this complex sample, your retention time, repeatability were very good. You always can constantly have the same retention time. Then if you extracted some individual peptide from your, your complex sample, like one example is here, it's one peptide, and the, then we, we run 20 repeat runs, then you just look at the retention time variation. Then you see the percentage of CV was uh, less than 0.3% as long as your heater is on. So it's a really very good thing. Consider you are using the nano flow. It's only 300 nanoliter per minute. Then the same uh, retention time precision was re acquired when even you use, uh, when you use the heater on. So, so you see with a different flow rate, even with very low, 150 nanoliter per minute, uh, you know it's very hard to maintain the retention time precision. We, with this new easy spray column, we still can get uh, all less than 0.4% CV. So this good retention time precision makes sure you always can get a very good uh, quantification precision, especially if you want to do the label-free experiment, you don't need uh, even don't need to do any alignment anymore because the uh, peak always there for reproducible. So plus to all these features, the new easy spray column, it's very robust too. So in order to test it to see what the lifetime of the column could be. We, we did the like a long-term running test. So here shows the result is uh, on the top, you have the first injection on one column. Then this one, the lower part show the, the illusion profile after 200 injection of the E. coli digest sample. So because each run is uh, like about uh, uh, 90 minutes, so it's a very long time, over 200 injections. But you can see from here, the column efficiency still keeps the same, very high, and your elution profile is the same too, after 200 injections. That proves the column lifetime is very long, and it's very robust. So another performance we will always want to get from the column is the variability, so how reliable, how reproducible from the column to column. So in order to test that, we use the three easy spray column. They're all the same 15 centimeter paper map column. So we inject the same sample on the three different columns to test how the reproducible they can be for the separation. Then the result was shown here. You can see the column one, column two, column three, their separation illusion profile really very identical and they are very reproducible. That means even with this new easy spray column, even at the very low nano flow range, we can actually get a standard flow rate, like a high flow rate comparable, robustness, reproducibility, and we have much higher sensitivity. So on the conclusion, the, we have developed the new easy spray source with a dedicated the new easy spray columns, which are very easy to install and use, always guarantee for the best performance for everyone. We tested all the performance and we proved by the all evaluation data results that even with the easy use, we don't, didn't uh, satisfy any performance, so no compromise. We still get the state-of-the-art nanoflow LC performance for everyone by just uh, one click. Thank you for watching this video. For more detailed information or download the poster, 
please go to thermoscientific.com/sms. Thank you.